Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm at the Forney Museum of Transportation in Denver, Colorado. I've been to several transportation museums around the states in Canada, and they're always really interesting with examples of all sorts of different modes of transportation. And I've had a quick look around here, and it is one of the better ones that you'll find anywhere, I think. So come in with me and I'll show you what they have for us here in Denver. So come in and let me give you a tour. So first we start off with an 1882 prairie schooner. You ever seen one of those? <laughs> oh and guess who this is? And this buggy is 1890, sorry with the fringe on top, <laughs> there's the fringe. This is a 1909 Model T, and one model you don't see very often is the Ford Model F. How about that? This is the Model F chassis and a Model C body. Yeah, I don't think I've seen one of those in any museums. And here's a make I've never heard of. This is a 1923 Kissel. And it had this little pull-out rumble seat. How about that? <laughs> and what's really special about this car is that it was owned by Amelia Earhart. How about that? This is where she kept her propeller. <laughs> they have a lot of these old cars. I've seen this Hispano, Hispano Suiza in a few museums. And they also have some ladies outfits from back in the day. I vaguely remember these. An Avanti Coupe made by General Motors, 68. And what is this? Wow, never heard of that. Look at this little engine. It's like a motorcycle engine. And yeah, look at this monster. They got a few planes. That's an ultralight. And they got a helicopter. And this one is here's a huge case tractor and this 1926 threshing machine and then they got a big bicycle collection and look at this <laughs> you know what this is yep that is rickshaw that is a really nice <laughs> setup rickshaw and here's a bicycle built for three. Oh, this bike has got a nice basket on it. And here's Orville and Wilbur Wright working in their bicycle shop. Oh, look, <laughs> a bicycle built for four. Wow. Some kids' toys. Nice dress, huh? Ooh, this looks like fun for the kiddies. 
and a radio flyer, a really old baby buggy. Oh wow, look at this. 1890 upholstered tricycle. <laughs> She's looking at one of those stereoscopes. Boy, these are some really rare bikes. There's a unicycle and then one of these big wheels. I think they used to call those bone shakers, something like that. No shock absorbents, whatever. Velocipedes. And then we go into the motorcycle department. Some Triumphs. And here's one of those Cushman scooters. What is this? A 52 Mustang Pony. <laughs> Here's a couple of them with a sidecar. It's a 1909 International Harvester. And this is a tour bus from Glacier National Park. Here's a little scooter made by Indian, 1973. Some more little Indians, a couple bigger Indians. Bet you haven't seen many of these. Got some more motorcycles here. This is a Kella cycle. <laughs> It could very well be BMW with sidecar. Got some little Hondas. Got some 65 and 66 Hondas. This is a 90cc. Those were popular. I remember back in my high school days. <laughs> a little tiny Honda. This is a 1926 Nera car. Now you might think it's called that because it was almost a car, <laughs> but it actually is a moniker of the inventor, Carl Nera car. <laughs> you ever heard of the paratrooper bicycle? <laughs> I sure haven't, but that's what those are. Oh, and this is a medic. Some military miscellaneous vehicles here. You may have seen some four-cylinder motorcycles. I bet you've never seen a six-cylinder motorcycle. Honda used to make those. That's from 97, 77. And across from the motorcycles is some hearse carriages. You can see the casket in that one. And this is one for a child casket. There's a mail delivery wagon. Never heard of that. Wonder what this lady is waiting for. 1893, 1890, and this yellow one is from 1906. And another nice looking one from 1890. When I was a teen and preteen, I rode a lot of these Greyhound and Continental Trailways buses. You got some nice models here, and I actually owned one similar to that. That is a huge model. Thing must be about four feet long. Here's a model of a used car lot. <laughs> Still have these signs I've seen that says, buy here, pay here. They'll sell to anybody.
This is a Denver streetcar from 1906. Wow, amazing that that thing is still here and in such good condition. And here's some customers waiting for a ride. They also had cable cars in Denver, didn't know that. Huh, the Denver Tramway. Denver's a pretty f flat city. So I'm surprised they would have cable cars. And here's some unusual things. Jerry's special. Not mine. <laughs> wow. Bet you never seen one of these. There's a picture of it on a lake. I hate those reflections. And no transportation museum would be complete without a bumper car. And here's a car reduced down to a little square. And no, I can't. And both from 1923 is a school bus and a Stutz fire engine. Didn't know Stutz made fire engines. This is a 1915 Ford Model T. They actually invite you to get up into. How about that? They also have this small locomotive and several train cars here. And they've got a railroad bell. Huh. Oh, they got a lot of train cars here. And this is a dining car. Aunt Peachy <laughs> is a big car with a big hook. on that railway car. Very interesting. All the entrances to these cars are blocked, so I guess you can't go in and see them. And climbing is forbidden into Aunt Peachy. You can peek through the window though. Here's one of the staterooms. Got its own little desk there. And here's a dining room. And that's about all you can see. Here's a car with a snow plow. Wow. Now oh, this guy looks happy. Got a huge engine here. Can you imagine trying to climb up these stairs? <laughs> well, that's about it for the trains. Got some more cars here. 1952 Crosley Jeep style vehicle. And here's a 1959 Beetle really good condition 1927 Phantom One looks like they're still trying to put this one together here's one I haven't heard of from the coal carriage company 03 Oldsmobile wow all wood but with metal fenders What is she waiting for? A 19 Renault and an 07 Nyberg. 
This lady is showing off her 1913 Cadillac. I like that horn. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you haven't seen one of these before. How about that? Wow. <laughs> Single wheel in the back too. It's an excellent car collection. This is the amazing Ford Skyliner. Made from 57, 8, and 9. And the roof just pops off in two pieces. How about that? Wow. I agree, that is amazing. Here's an electric car from 1916. Wow, look inside this thing. Swivel seats. And here's the batteries in the rear. How many of you remember these? <laughs> Down the highway. Burma shave. This one is really funny. <laughs> Burma shave. All for shaving cream. That was really a very unique advertising campaign Burma Shave had. I'm going to finish up this video by showing you some of the models that they have, especially the larger ones, like this. You see the Ferrari insignia on there? It's a really unusual model. It's about a foot and a half long. It's a model of a 1933 Bugatti. Got some big ones in this back case here. It's a really nice collection. Yeah, Tornado. Here's a model collection of Corvettes from 1953 to 2003. Well folks, I gotta say, they have an excellent collection of antique vehicles here of all different types of genres as well as their model collection. Stop by when you're in Denver, like you like it. Good day, folks.